Arena. I am a neurologist and I would like to thank you for the opportunity for presenting our work entitled Long-Term Outcome in Transient Global Amnesia, a Population-Based Study. This work was done at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota uh, with Dr. Rubinstein and Dr. Brown. Transient global amnesia is a condition characterized by a transient inability to lay down new memories. It is thought to be caused by a transient impairment in the venous drainage of the temporal lobes, and this is in turn thought to be caused by uh, increased intrathoracic pressure. Available studies about the long-term outcome of transient global amnesia are few and limited in scope. Available data suggests that patients suffering from transient global amnesia are not at a higher risk of suffering from cerebrovascular events, myocardial infarction, or peripheral artery disease. Data on the risk of seizures is inconsistent and the long-term uh, risk of uh, cognitive impairment has not been sufficiently evaluated. For a better understanding of the disease and a more confident counseling of our patients, we decided to conduct a population-based matched cohort study uh, to establish the long-term outcome of cerebrovascular events, uh, seizures, and cognitive impairment. We obtained a list of all patients with a diagnosis of transient global amnesia uh, among residents of Olmsted County in Minnesota, which accounted for a total of 221 patients, occurring from January 1985 through December 2010. This was possible using the resources of the Rochester Epidemiology Project database. Patients were followed for a mean follow-up of 12 years. We were able to observe that the presence of cerebrovascular risk factors showed no difference between patients and controls. History of migraine was the only baseline factor uh, that was more frequent among patients suffering from transient global amnesia. Survival curves also showed no difference between uh, patients suffering from transient global amnesia and controls. Although they had a shorter follow-up, previous uh, reports have demonstrated that patients suffering from transient global amnesia are not at a higher risk of cerebrovascular events. We were able to demonstrate with ours that this assumption would in fact be correct. Data available to date on the long-term risk of seizures after an episode of transient global amnesia was conflicting. Epilepsy initially masquerading as a transient global amnesia episode may explain the cases of epilepsy diagnosed after an episode uh, in previous smaller studies. Since we excluded cases in which an alternative diagnosis was suspected, we were able to see in our cohort uh, no increased incidence of epilepsy in the long term. Long-term cognitive dysfunction had not been sufficiently studied in the past. We could see uh, with a mean follow-up of 12 years the lack of increase of dementia incidence compared to general population. No particular dementia etiology, either degenerative or vascular, predominated in, in one group over the other. In summary, our results demonstrate that patients are not at a higher risk of suffering from a cerebrovascular event, seizures, or cognitive impairment um, over the long term following an episode of transient global amnesia. The population-based case match design and long length of follow-up of our study strongly support the validity of our results. We believe this is very important information for the counseling of patients and their families on what to expect after an episode of transient global amnesia. We appreciate your interest in our work and hope you find it helpful for your daily practice. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.